A really awesome feature of Curio is its support for running missions. Through missions, it is possible for an organization to focus outreach or data collection efforts on specific areas. Objectives can be set in order to target particular types of information, such as gathering measurements of trees, confirming changes in canopy, or looking for a particular problem. We'll have a look now at how to set up a mission and view its progress. This is the missions listing page. As you can see, we have no missions yet, but we're going to fix that now. So to start, we'll click the new mission button. This brings us to the mission creation page. On the left here, we have the mission setup form, and on the right, our data map. In the data map, we can see the positions of existing trees in our inventory. And we can also toggle any other data layers we may have, such as these tree canopy layers. The mission creation form is broken up into sequential steps with clear instructions, and creating a mission through it is dead quick and super easy. Only steps marked with an asterisk are required for a mission to be saved, but we recommend filling out everything before making your mission public. So the first step is to identify the area where you want your mission to take place. I'm going to search for a particular area in the location search box. Then I simply select the drawing tool and draw a shape in the map to define my mission area. I actually want to include two separate areas in this mission, and this is no problem, as I can have as many as I like, and you'll see the number of areas displayed in this yellow box. In step 2 we just set the start and end date for the mission. By default the start date is today with a mission duration of one week, but we can easily change that. The last two items that are required are to give your mission a name and to describe or name the location in which it takes place so that people can recognise it. So I'm going to name this one Finding Flowers and give the location as The Knoll, Sidmouth. I don't have to add an image, but I really want to because I have this cool animated shift that will help draw attention to the mission. And I'm going to describe some goals. So I'm going to get people to see if they can photograph five trees and if they can find any with flowers on them to tag them with blossom. I can also add a target number of interactions for the mission here, which can help encourage participants by giving them something to aim for. Then, if we're happy, we can save the mission, and we have the option of publishing it now, or we can come back and do this later. Publishing the mission makes it visible to the public, so that people can sign up to it. I'm going to go ahead and publish this one. So this is the mission overview page, which is publicly visible. It has our mission area in the map, and provides a summary of the mission details in this panel on the left. The really interesting stuff on in this page, though, is found by clicking on the middle tab at the bottom of the panel. This opens the mission activity feed, which is where we will see the interactions people perform within this mission pop up in real time. So we're looking here at a mission in another area, and we can see activity appearing in the feed in real time. Detailed records of all the interactions are maintained and can be filtered by the time frame in which they occur in order to better see the progression of activity. This makes it possible to quantify engagement during events that you might run and generates images, stories and data that can underpin reports. Missions provide an exciting and compelling framework within which outreach events can take place and can be used to improve and monitor public engagement levels.